M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I thought I'd show these two side by side. On the left, you've got the Yesu FT1. It is C4FM, VHF, UHF, lovely radio with nice keypad and just works great, GPS, APRS. Now, on the right-hand side, you've got the RT3S, but unusually, you've got the OpenGD77 firmware. Well, this is quite a new thing, and it actually can track satellites. So if I just go menu, go down to... Channel, satellites. Center, satellites now this firmware is is free firmware select satellite. it and it's now going to look and search for satellites and the other thing i can do it does talk to you is select one it shows you where it is in the sky and if i go downwards it even gives me the time and the elevation down again and it puts in all the frequencies with the Doppler shift as well. So that is excellent. And also it's, if we back out, it's just a normal VHF, UHF radio with DMR, of course, connected to my hotspot at the moment. You'll see the information coming through. Now on the B, on the Yesu FT1D, it's connected to my all star node and on the A band, it's got my C4 FM hotspot. So if I go to A, Hopefully, if I hold the X button, we should be able to connect to my hotspot. There you go. And if we turn the, we are connected. If we turn the knob, push enter, then turn the knob backwards. That's Tim coming through there on the RT3. We should be able to go to all. I know the screen isn't the clearest screen on the FT1. If we turn it back, should be able to, just got to remember how to do this a minute. I think it's hold down the enter. There, that's it. There's our groups, our, sorry, our pre-selected categories with hotspots in it. But if we go up to search, then all, and hit enter. Let's try and get that closer for you. Now we can select a room. If we select that one there. Enter at the bottom here, got a nice keypad. And that's it, we're connected to the USA room and if I talk I can speak to them. I can hold down and back out. Now we're still connected and on the B band if I select B, now we can do single receive and I key the mic, that's my all star node. M0FXB audio test. FXB audio test. And see that I'm actually connected, you hear myself coming out on the R23, that's because I'm DMR connected. You might hear an echo now. DMR connected to Hubnet, but I've got it. I've got it. Uh, all the group, all the talk groups in one group, so I can hear them all. So I've got Hubnet coming through. I've got Talk Group 91, CQ UK, and a couple of other rooms. So it works brilliant. Now, if we turn, change this to my Hubnet room. See, oh, I can't remember if I got it on there, on DMR. Let's try it on menu. You can go to zones. Like so. you got GPS there, zone. Hotspots. Hotspot, that's one I've selected. Zones. Now if I go to Hubnet, I might have it in there. Digital Hubnet. That's Hubnet Analog, which we can just, you see me come through there? If I change the DMR, no, it's not going to find it. So we go zone, these are some of the zones I've got. Analog repeaters, hotspots, I've got my open spot, simplex, all kinds. So if you want to try out this RT3 software, you are going to need an RT3. It's called OpenGD77, and it just works great. I just think it's a very good radios. The thing about the F, the worst thing about the FT1 is really the battery life isn't great. But if you have, I've got a spare battery on charge all the time. It's the same battery as my FT2 and 5 that I've got. Same drop-in charger, so I just swap them around. You're not going to use all three radios at the same time. So I've always got a battery, whatever happens. I quite like the single thing and there is a, a, a cheat for the volume if you just push the volume and then turn the channel knob 
it changes the volume. You can't see it at that distance, but, or maybe you can. And that's just a setting in the radio. So bye for now, 7.3. Thanks for watching. These are excellent radios and inexpensive. Buy, well, yeah, second hand, 150, um, 70 pound. And then you can also get, uh, this is the dual band model. If you get the single band MD380 model, then you could use um, TYT tools, which is brilliant. Bye for now, 7.3.